Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Tuesday the 3rd of March and we have new mods. There have been a couple of updates here and there too. Um, we have got an update to the cow shed by DMI 20mm Normandy. Um, there's been an update to the ITS Lemkin pack. I um, always better check those because you often find the updates to... The ITS stuff are quite far reaching normally. Update 1.7 added compactor K600 seedbed combination. Add fixed seed pipes between tractor and KA600. Okay. Um, I always would suggest go on, check on the Mods Hub um, in game or on the Farming Simulator website for all the um, update information because often there's a whole load of stuff listed. Um, there's also an update to the wooden sheds by Switch. Um, but new mods for today, we have got the Seasons Geo, Central Georgia, that's by Z84, so there's a new Geo out, and then we are straight into the mods. Um, what we have in front of us here is the, the Lizard T032, this is by Borsuk, or Borsuk Mods, uh, and Kopi Zero Perkins. This is a very small little um, muck spreader. Um, but it, will, can, it can also be a trailer configuration as well. I think the capacity is only 3,500 litres, but it's cheap as chips as well, which is great. Nicely detailed mod. There's quite a few options available on colour schemes and things like that. Again, it's another one of those, you know, starting out type things. If you want to do a bit of muck spread and you don't want to go expensive or, you know, or you've only got very small fields to start off with, this might just be the way to go. Um, if you're going to get into much bigger stuff, it's probably not going to be big enough. But... Yeah, nice tidy mod. Um, this we'll find under manure spreaders. So the T032, 4,100 by. Now as a trailer, it will take all of those things down the bottom. Um, so it will take pretty much everything in its trailer configuration. The spread width is four meters as a muck spreader and the capacity is 3,500 liters. Only requires 30 horsepower to run. Um, so I know some of the smaller little tractor packs that we're getting now um, some of the older tractors you can run one of these no problem at all options available we can change the rim colour and um, we do have quite a few options of grey I'm not quite sure why um, lots of greys um, a few blacks and greens but got very dark green option there bright red kind of a maroon dark red black grey like I say there's a few different greys very light grey you can see all the colours that are there um, as options. Um, main colour, we can change the body again. Same selection. We can change the main body of the trailer itself to any one of those options you've got there. Um, there's a kind of brick red. Oh, I don't know if it's brick red, actually. A little bit lighter than brick red. Um, and then design colour changes the chassis of the vehicle, uh, the trailer, sorry, um, and the back uh, rotating bars, spreader bars, um, on the back so that's your design color configuration you can have standard or you can have as a trailer um, capacity stays the same 3500 liters um, it's another one of those ones where it actually probably works out quite handy because if you buy one you can then just go into the configuration point and just change it as and when you need to rather than to have separate bits of machinery so that probably worked quite well um, when you do have it on the um, muck spreader option you've got covers on the side there of all the kind of belts and chains that drive everything you can have those covers on or off so you can have the chains visible if you want to have the chains and stuff visible that's entirely up to you cover on or off you can't change the color, color of that cover it stays yellow and then wheel set up you can have standard or wide tires so let's say 4100 it's not too bad at all um, let's start up. I mean the tractors are a bit large I suppose really for this but it's all good. And away we go. That's what it's supposed to do. It spreads manure. With a four metre spread width. There you go. So that's the T032 by Borsuk uh, Mods. Kopi Zero Perkins. That's only five slots as well, so not too high on the slot count. Very nice indeed. Next up, we have got a kind of cedar pack. This is by Agrotechnic Nordifor, and this is the Horse Pronto um, 6AS 
Maestro 8RC, but it does come with something else as well. And we've got a few different options available on this. Um, so what we've actually got is this kind of main body here. Now this is a cultivator, a six meter cultivator with a seed and fertilizer tank. And then we've got the, the Pronto and the Maestro back. The Maestro is the planter, which will do um, your sugar beet, corn, my well, mind's gone blank on planters. We'll have a look at that in a second. Um, is that terrible? Um, but that's your planter option, the maestro. And your pronto is your regular seed that does your more cereal crops. They're all six metre options. Um, this on the front here um, is the... Uh, what is it down? It's the SW3500S. Now, you can't run these as separate... Um, well, actually, looking at that, I couldn't get it to hook up to the tractor without that. So you couldn't run this as just a separate seeder on its own. One reason being, this planter has a 500 litre tank capacity, because obviously these planter boxes will hold seed. The seeder here doesn't have a tank or anything. It is literally just the seeder. So you need to have a tank to actually run it off of, which is what this is. But obviously you've got the option of a cultivator on here as well. Now you can have the cultivator with a kind of compactor on the front, rollers on the front or without. We'll have a look at those as options too. Um, I'll just sort of get one of each out just to show you kind of the both configuration options. Um, obviously in game, if your field's ploughed, you don't necessarily have to um, cultivate. You can see directly onto a ploughed field. Um, you can't always seed directly onto a field that's just been harvested unless you've got a direct drill. Um, I don't think these are direct drills. I'm pretty sure they're not. I don't think it says so in the actual uh, mod type itself. But we'll have a quick look in there. You'll find this under seeders. Now, although there's a planter option and the seeder option, it's under seeders. So we've got the SW3500S. It's 50 grand. Um, that's 25 slots. It's fairly high. Not astronomically high, but fairly high in the slot count. Has a tank capacity of 5,000 litres, which splits into fertiliser and seed. So you've got kind of got an additional tank capacity on there too. Um, the Horse Pronto 6AS will do your regular cereal crops um, with your soybean and your oats and canola and wheat and barley. It will do all seed radish and it will also do grass. Um, that one is only four, it's 14 slots, so you'd have to have a combination of both. Then the Maestro will do your corn, sunflower, soybean, sugar beet and cotton. Why couldn't I remember those other ones? Anyway, um, so that's your planter option. Um, that one, like I say, has got a 500 litre capacity, but the other one, the Pronto, doesn't show an option, doesn't say anything about capacity. So you do have to have the SW3500S to be able to run seed through it. Um, are there combinations that this could work with with other seeders? Quite possibly. But again, there are so many different seeder options now in game and as mods to go through and test every single one to see which combinations will fit would take hours. Um, so potentially there are options available or they may not hook up to anything else other than 3500S. But that would be a, a bit of kind of separate testing you may have to do yourself. Oh, I'll tell you what would be a good idea if we actually look to the options available. So you can have this one, um, the front seed fertilizer section, um, with the packer or not. Now bear in mind it comes already like that, so when you come onto this mod it shows it like that, but that's 6,500 extra. If you don't want that just click across and it takes it down by that amount, so you're down to 50 grand which is what it initially says. So you don't have to have that packer if you don't want to. That's your option available on that. On the Pronto, you get what you get. On the Maestro, you get what you get. So, what we'll do... I did find... I, I went over, I had a, one of the multi-filling stations, and I found filling them up with seed was, and fertiliser was fairly straightforward. Um, I did have to, with the planter, roll right forward so the planter was under the um, filling point to get it to fill up completely. So once I hook this up on the back, we go from 2,000 and 3,000 to 2,000 and 3,500, because like I say, that's got a 500 litre. Now, what you can do as well if you want to, it would be a bit extravagant, because it's 50 grand, but 
you could just run this as a six metre cultivator. You don't have to put the cedar backs on them. Um, so if you wanted to, you could just off you go and use it as a cultivator. Like I say, that's rather an expensive cultivator at six metres, but and again it just adds a bit more kind of realism to the kind of what is available. I've got some corn at the moment. And away we go. So that's your maestro option with your planter. That's better. And that's the one with the packer on the front. Obviously if you wanted to increase that capacity even further you could have a front tank on there as well if you want to go with the front tank that would be entirely option now this one hasn't got the packer on it and you'll notice it's 2,000 litres first size of 3,000 litres and it's on set on wheat on a hookup that capacity doesn't change because that cedar on the back of there doesn't have anything else it doesn't have a tank or anything with it so let's open it up open that up And there you go. Very nice indeed. So what I will do very quickly, let's just disconnect that. And then we'll disconnect that. And I'll just squeeze the tractor back around to show you what I mean. Because it does look like a three-point link. You know what's going to do, it's going to work now, isn't it? Just to prove me wrong. No, it won't, it won't give me an option to just hook that up. So if you want to transport these, um, unless you want to put them on a trailer or something like that, but um, you can't just grab a tractor, grab one of these and just take them out to the field. It does have to be hooked up to the SW3500S, the front section on this, automatically. But anyway, there you go. Um, so that's the Horse Pronto 6AS Maestro 8RC kind of pack um, by Agrotechnic Nordifal. Next up, we've got this. Um, this is the wash station by Missy B. Fairly large, so you can get large vehicles, harvesters, things like that in some of the wash plants and wash stations. We've got a fairly narrow, you're going to get smaller machinery in, but this is designed for much bigger stuff. Um, it's only 5,000, I think it is, to buy. Um, placing, obviously, with any placeables, it's, it's more advisable to have a flat, a flat playing surface before you begin is always um, advisable. Uh, this is only three slots, which isn't too bad. To activate it, normally you have to come right over to the wash plant here, press L3 and it works. However, to get it to work, you need to be inside the hazard marked area here. Once you're inside the hazard marked area, press L3 and on comes your jet wash. Now, it operates in exactly the same way as any of the other jet washes we have in game. Turn it off from in there as well. But like I say, step outside that, press L3, nothing will happen. You do need to be inside the box. To get that to work. Nice textures, nice detail with the staining and the grill down the middle and that kind of thing. But um, there you go. That's the wash station by Missy B. Uh, moving on, we have got this. This is the shed, just as shed, by Kazani317. We had a few mods by Kazani317 recently. Um, I don't know. It's got a lot of detail on it, a huge amount of detail. It's 23 slots um, because of all the detail. And the texturing on it and the detail is phenomenal. It looks absolutely brilliant. And this is going to be one of those kind of, you know, it may be just something you really, really want. Is it hugely practical? Not really. I'll be totally honest with you. Um, we can open the doors here. here I mean you could probably put some you know with this the seed bag mods you could put some bags of seeds and stuff in here you're not going to get a wheel loader or pallets through the door really particularly well 
if you were manipulating logs and stuff like that by hand, if you were chopping them up and doing a kind of narrative story, that kind of thing, potentially, um, you're not going to get vehicles in here. Um, and then the it's, it's a shed. It's a placeable shed. It's there. Um, but it is, yeah, fairly high on the slot count. That top door, you can't actually get up to it to um, to open it, even if it does open. Um, but the light switch... Please work this time. Finding the triggers on these is often a little bit tricky. There we go. Um, the lights do turn on and off, and the doors do open and close. Uh, this you will find under placeables. Uh, actually, no, this wasn't under sheds, weirdly enough, considering it's just as a shed, it was under decoration. There you go, 5,000 to buy. Um, and yeah, 23 slots are fairly high in the slot count. Um, the wash station by Missy B, sorry, I didn't show you it. There you go. It's also 5,000, and it's just there, under Missy B, under miscellaneous in placeables. Um, so there you go, that's those two. Uh, moving on then, we have got a couple of mixer wagons. And as you've probably already seen, and from the thumbnail, and could be the reason why you've clicked on it, we've got a big mixer wagon. Um, this is the biggest we now have on console. I know there are probably bigger modded ones on PC, but as far as console goes, goes this is now the biggest one we've got. But we're going to look at this one first. Um, this is the Lizard Mixel uh, 141. This is by 76 Max. This is six slots. It's got a 14,000 litre capacity. It's a little bit, little bit like the Vertimix. Uh, is it Coon? I'm trying to think who makes them Pottinger. There's a few different companies that make a kind of Vertimix type mixer. Um, it's a feed mixer. Um, you, you can put your bales in or you can put loose material in. And it will mix up your total mix ration for you or if you wanted to just put straw in it and transport it and put straw out that's doesn't type to you or hay or whatever you want to do but it is designed to be a mixer wagon and to make total mix ration um if you're doing it i prefer personally this is just me personally i prefer doing my feed mixes now with loose material simply because when you get capacities which don't perfectly match up with 4,000 litres, which is what most of the bales come in, unless you go for a Heston baler, which is 6,000. Um, or the very, very small bales, if you use a tiny baler, you can probably get away with it a little bit easier. Um, is you're always going to lose a bit here and there. Because with a 14,000 litre, 4,000 doesn't go into that perfectly, so you're always going to have at least one bale where you'll use a bit of it and it'll kind of, it'll disappear. You won't be able to recover what you've lost if that kind of makes sense that one's no different i'll be totally honest with you um unless the capacity works out perfectly in four thousand litre chunks you're always going to lose a little bit that's why i just prefer doing them i prefer doing my mixes loose but that's just me personally um this you will find under animals uh great thing about this is the trailed line duo we get in game standard is a sixteen thousand litre and it's 53 grand this one we just looked at is a 14,000, so only 2,000 litres less, but price 25 grand. 25,100 for a 14,000 litre capacity. Cheap as chips, that's brilliant. Again, so if you're doing a kind of starting out and you want, you need a mixer wagon for doing cows and you want to get going, that's a nice cheap alternative. It's a great way to get yourself, you know, off the starting blocks and away you go kind of thing. Um, options available? There are none. You get what you get. Requires 70 horsepower. Nice tidy mod. Um, you can change the unload side from left to right so it will come out either side should you choose to do so. And when you turn it on the blade in the top will spin and do its thing. Um, but yeah. It's nice, nice bit of kit, that. Um, that's the Lizard Mix L141 by 76 Max. Which brings us on to... If I haven't got this wrong, I think the last of the mods for today. Um, which is the larger one. This is the... Um, I'm going to get it right. The Silo King Trailed Line System 1000 plus 4535. I think is the full designation for this. Uh, this is a 45,000 litre... Um, mixer wagon. The largest we've got at the moment, if you have the Anderson DLC, you might not have the Anderson DLC, 
The largest we've got at the moment is the Anderson at 29,300 and something litres, I think it is. Um, there is also the modded Knight, uh, oh, I can't remember what it was called now, the IT Runner one, um, which is 26,000 litres, I think it is. So this puts this head and shoulders above. We're not into the bigger mega mammoets from, from FS17, the 64,000 litre capacity, but 45,000 litres is not to be sniffed at. This is designed for farms where you're running like, you know, a thousand cows odd, you know, probably less, you know, 500 cows, you're going to need a fair amount of feed. Um, and this is a good way to go about doing it. Um, I haven't showed you that one being used. I'm going to show you this one being used. That works in exactly the same way. It's just a smaller capacity. Um, but just to give you some kind of idea. Uh, nice tidy mod. It's just kind of like stretched larger version than the standard kind of in-game ones. Uh, triple axle. This will unload left and right as well. And I'll show you what I mean uh, with regard to... I mean, I, I do mine loose. And like I say, I do a different mix to a lot of people. A lot of people just do silage and hay. I do silage, hay and straw. Um, I do one part silage, one part hay... T uh, one part silage, one part straw, two parts hay. So I, what I normally do is whatever the capacity of it is, I will divide it by four. I'll put one quarter of silage, one quarter of straw, two quarters or half... Um, of hay. So that works out about 11,250 litres if my mass is correct for a quarter. So using the MF Shed Pack Silo by Alien Jim, which I absolutely love this mod, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, this isn't new but I just thought I'd mention it because people will ask. If I click on this and we go to hay, so hay I can do 22,500 litres I think. <laughs> I've done this right. So I need to go up to 22,000. Roughly. Uh, not far off. So that's our hay. Um, now, I need to put my silage and it needs to 11,000. So I need to go up to about 30... Yeah, 33-ish. Now, as you can see, it's already gone to total mixed ration. So just using silage and um, hay, we can get a total mixed ration mix but I'd like to then pad it out with straw just because it's a fairly easy product to use. And there we are. It changes colour, but it changed colour already to a lighter colour. 45,000 litres mixed in no time whatsoever. Um, the great thing about this silo being as well, because you've got the grate underneath, I can unload straight away. And there we go, we've got a left unload straight into the silo again so I can have all of my stuff in here I can make my total mix ration and then store it and then come back and get it whenever I need to for feeding my animals and at 45,000 litres every time um, that's you know I think it's a brilliant bit of kit anything that increases the speed with which you can feed your uh, your cows is a winner as far as I'm concerned so there you go so we've got a nice big feed mixer uh, that's by oh sorry it's by dd mod passion i do apologize um this you will also find under animals right at the very end One hundred forty-one thousand to buy it's not cheap but i'm trying to think what's the anderson the large anderson is 115 and that's twenty nine thousand three hundred ninety three liters and the other one i have got here it's the knight it 26 which is 26 thousand is for 56 seven grand so you know um personally i think it's worth its weight in gold 240 horsepower required um very nice bit of kit indeed like i say how you do your total mix ration mix isn't up to you what ratios you do i know different people do different things and the uh lizard mix l141 will do exactly the same thing like i say it's just a slightly smaller capacity that's all um, so there you go. That's the mods for today. I don't think any new ones have come out since I started doing this mod review. I hope not. Um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.